It's not a wig. Good evening. <laughs> Let's just deal with that straight away so you can relax. <laughs> I have a hairdresser called Helen, right? She's very attentive to my needs. I say, Helen, make me look like an Oasis fan <laughs> that is thinking of switching to Blur. <laughs> yeah, I think she's done very well. Interesting time, huh? Yeah. I've been living with a lady. <laughs> yes. A landlady. She lives on the land cos she owns the land. She's the landlady. No shoes allowed. She cleans the house before the cleaner arrives. She's the landlady and she's house proud. Just make yourself at home, but not that much at home cos the landlady's around. Haven't you heard? Tom, can I have a word? It's just not working out. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Uh, so I had to... I had to move out. Sad end to a nice story, huh? <laughs> I live on my own now. I've been doing the solo life this year, just me, unattached, yeah? What I've noticed about when I'm, when I'm doing the solo life, when there's not a, a girlfriend in my life, I buy a lot more. I spend money plugging that void, yeah? I buy more clothes. I see a lot of people wearing clothes in tonight, my kind of people. <laughs> when I had a little glimpse, I thought, yeah, yeah, they're gonna love the clothes stuff. I love clothes. My favourite thing is sunglasses. Not technically clothes, but, you know, it's on your eyes. It's covering something. I like shades, yeah? I like getting them from those really weird shops that sell everything. You know those, like, household shops that sell all the stuff you need? Suitcases, non-stick pans, women's nighties. <laughs> and then a, a sunglasses carousel just outside, just next there. There's a little man standing there watching you while you're trying all the shades. And you're looking at yourself in the little mirror that's smaller than a human face. <laughs> That mirror is smaller than a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> got absolutely no idea how they look on your head. And that mirror gets around. That mirror gets around, man. They have that same size mirror at the shoe shop. <laughs> Trying to get your whole body in there. So you can see how they look on you as a total person. <laughs> well, I think they look nice, but I don't normally stand in this position. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Backing away. Most people accused of stealing shoes were just trying to see how they look from across the road. <laughs> Otherwise, you get home later that night. See yourself for the first time in a full-length mirror with your shades and your shoes on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I feel like old-school man is being phased out now, yeah? Old-school man. Heterosexuality is hitting the skids now, you feel that? It's had a good knock. But there's new genres now coming through. Any straights in tonight, first of all? hear it in the cheer. <laughs> Straight's old school now. We'll talk about straight in the future, like a sort of charm, like a charming thing. Little kids will talk to their granddads. Grandpa, Grandpa, what, why? <laughs> what about the other holes, Grandpa? <laughs> well, it was a different time. A man was a man and a woman was a woman. It's all changing now. It's all up in the air. It's great. It's exciting. We've hit refresh on life, haven't we? It's all brilliant now. Straight is old school. Even gay and bisexual is old school now. We've got new genres now coming through every morning. The ones I'm jealous of are pansexuals. They can't even see gender. Yeah, they've got magic eyes. Blinded by their own openness. <laughs> they can see other stuff. Tesco Metro. 
They know the difference between Tesco and Sainsbury's, but they cannot, for the life of them, tell you the gender of the person outside Tesco. <laughs> there is a very attractive being <laughs> outside Tesco. I rather fancy that being. I think the being likes me. Someone's going to put something in somewhere. <laughs> doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter where. Because every soul's a goal, baby. <laughs> you cannot get more sexually progressive than that. I mean, bisexuals must feel very silly right now. <laughs> they used to be the number one edgy genre. And then pansexuals came along and said, piss off, I raise you blind. <laughs> I just wonder what else they can't see. Yeah, if they're blind to gender, what else is a pansexual blind to? Yeah? If a pansexual was a witness to a murder, how useful would they be in the police inquiry? <laughs> what did you see of the murder? Well, there was a being doing some stabbing. <laughs> a being? Were they a man or a woman? Duh. I can't see that sort of thing. <laughs> you can't see that? What were they, racially white, black, Asian? Duh. Again, I'm far too progressive to know. <laughs> it was just an aura with a knife. <laughs> they were stabbing the old person. I can't see age, it's disgusting. My pansexuality really only extends to young, sexy people, officer. Now, may I leave? <laughs> it's pretty edgy. I've taken it one step further, though, than pansexuals, yeah? I've gone one step further. I am unlabeled, yeah? I'm so cool and edgy, I don't even have a label, yeah? When they hand me forms and ask me to tick which box I am, straight, gay, bi, other, I don't even tick other. <laughs> I draw another little square next to it and call it other, other. <laughs> and then, I don't even tick that. <laughs> and on the line next to it, it says, please explain. I'm like, I can't. Stop trying to contain me with your little boxes. <laughs> and then I hand that form back. And they say, uh, Mr Ward, this is a sexual health clinic. We're just trying to find out where the crabs came from. <laughs> Your defensiveness is a little unnecessary. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, folks. I was involved with a man a few years ago, OK? More than 10 years ago, I was involved with a man. But because it's more than 10 years ago, I don't want to say I'm bisexual now. I haven't been bummed in a decade, yeah? <laughs> I feel like you need to renew your certificates. <laughs> Can't just go around dining out on former glories while practitioners of bisexuality are out there. Front lines, out of order to them. Consequences. And I feel like that's happening a lot now. A lot of straight people are trying to claim they're a little bit more gay than they are just to seem interesting, yeah? I'm a bit gay, are you, though? <laughs> Have you been bummed? <laughs> I'm a bit gay. Yeah, come on, let's hear it. I was talking to a guy at a party, right? He told me he was bisexual because he'd had a couple of gay thoughts. <laughs> thoughts? Thought. I've had thoughts about volunteering. Have I volunteered? Have I fuck? <laughs> and therefore, I am not a volunteer. It's quite straightforward. I can't walk up to volunteers outside a soup kitchen and say, yeah, I've thought about doing that. <laughs> Me and you are one and the same. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm off to have fun while we both volunteer. <laughs> it's out of order. But the LGBTQ is getting mentioned more now. We're being represented in the, in the media. I feel like that's good. It's getting talked about. Footballers sometimes wear the thing on their arm. But sometimes you're thinking, is this a company just being a little bit, mm, do you know what I mean? Just being a bit naughty and trying to seem, mm, OK, you're on side. All right, I was outside Sainsbury's. On the window, it said, Sainsbury's proudly supports the LGBTQ. And I'm thinking, 
How exactly does this play out, Sainsbury's? What is this support you're talking of? Do you send your reps down to gay orgies? <laughs> to cheer them on from the side? Go on, son, that's it, put it in the bum! <laughs> yeah? The hairy one, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you want a bag for that, boys? <laughs> hey, girls, do the scissors thing or whatever it is you do, yeah? <laughs> so they all taste the same, or can you taste the difference? <laughs> Sainsbury supports this. Good for you. <laughs> or is their support more subliminal? It's more like in-store, little things you don't think you realise you've seen. You know, like you go up to the sausage roll aisle, it used to be in packs of one, now it's packs of two, tip to tip. <laughs> so that when you do see two cocks going at it, you think, where have I seen that? <laughs> I've seen that somewhere before. That's fine, because I know that, I've seen that. But, you know, to be honest, when I was involved with this guy, it wasn't about him being a guy, it was about the connection we had, right? I didn't really care about his gender, which I guess makes me a pansexual back then, but I didn't stick, so I'm more like a non-stick pan. <laughs> Thank you so much, you've been absolutely amazing. God bless you all. Bye-bye.